Hey everyone, how's it going? What's up? I'm Ryan. And I'm Zach. It's the Fresh Cup of Comics. Happy Mother's Day. Oh my god, it's Mother's Day already, Zach? I can't believe it, yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, most Time flies. Most time flies. When year. you're born, time flies. Yeah, yeah. too quick sometimes. Insane. I'm, de- right. I'm depressed. Why? Because people are not paying attention to the mothers in comics, the ones that raise superheroes, the people we look up to, they play an important role in their lives too. They do. I mean, they got capes, webbing. Well, I mean, the moms usually have aprons and life lessons. <laughs> but superheroes are cool too, you know? Yeah, the moms are just, oh, sorry, Batman. Your mom didn't actually, uh... <laughs> He's upset. Take care of you too well. He didn't get, he didn't even know his mom. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so true. That's Why so did you say true. that name? Martha! <laughs> Good times. Good times. <laughs> Batman, I'll fix you, buddy. <laughs> you orphan. Oh, okay. Man. Poor right. guy. But yeah, so I figured we'd go through a list of like the top moms in comics, basically, that maybe you hadn't really thought about. In definitely, a while. definitely. So, I mean, who's who comes first? And, and like, who comes on your list? But like... Uh, like, like who comes to mind? Some that come to mind, uh, Sue Storm from Fantastic Four. Mm. Man, what a crazy time she had having a couple kids. Oh, really? I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> her first kid, her first kid with uh, Reed Richards, mm-hmm. Mr. Fantastic. Also smartest man in the universe. Smartest man in the universe. She named him after Franklin, mm. her father Franklin, late father Franklin. Okay. Um, this kid has awesome powers he can like bend reality change reality it's pretty Mm. cool so that's his mutant power okay and her daughter is supposedly super genius oh nice so sounds like the incredibles right i mean maybe they just took it from that i don't know (laughs) um which speaking of the incredibles elastigirl yes from the incredibles i mean she's one super mom and smoking hot that's okay (laughs) All right. <laughs> Super flexible, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'm yeah. going to take a swig of my coffee right after that. All right. Yeah. Is it hot in here? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Elastigirl. Who could forget Elastigirl? She is like, well, I wouldn't say the pioneer, but she definitely put moms in the spotlight in, this, in terms of superheroes. Yeah. She has, what, three kids? Yeah. Including, right. the, including the baby that has every imaginable, imaginable power. Yeah. He's like. Well, he's kind of like Superman, but not Superman. Yeah, Super Baby. Super Baby. Like one hair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's so cool, though. I like Jack-Jack. Yeah, I can't wait to see where they go with him from here yeah. on. Incredibles but... number two coming out soon. Right? Check it out. What the heck? Right, who, out. Who, else, who else is on this list? Um, I guess Superman's mom. That's one of the, a good mom. Ah, Martha Kent. Martha Kent. His, his adoptive mother, basically. Yes. If uh, Let me tell you this, Zach. If... Superman didn't land in that farm and have Martha Kent as a mother. Who knows what he could have been? Yeah, he could have he could have landed in He could have been super evil. Yeah. He, he could have been landed at a dump site or like He could have he could have <laughs> landed he could have landed in Lex Luthor's house oh my God. and took his place. Ooh, that would have been a cool uh, storyline. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Oh man, but yeah, that is really, that really, it is fortunate that he landed in the place that housed some of the most uh, uh, ethical people right? imaginable. People full of life lessons because they have nothing better Insane. to do. Insane! Like he could have landed in like some weird, crappy neighborhood, and the mom's like, "Oh, I'll, I'll take over this kid. <laughs> I'll take teach, over this kid. I'll take over this kid and teach him everything, <laughs> and teaches him how to rob banks, and then who knows." Yeah, somebody pisses her off, he just blows them yeah, up. Yeah, blows them up. Or, you know, he wants to rob a bank, he freezes the vault and, like, punches it and takes all the money. That'd be amazing. That would <laughs> <laughs> that would have been an amazing storyline. What the heck? Super evil man. DC. Elseworlds? <laughs> <laughs> super evil man. Let's if, do it. If Superman Call wasn't so up. super ethically, <laughs> let's make that, make that the title. Yeah. Marvel would probably do that. Oh, yeah, in the What If comics? Yes. Yeah, oh, definitely. and another mom that I was reading about is pretty interesting is Catwoman. And Catwoman's kid eventually becomes Huntress. I actually didn't know that. It is crazy. I didn't know that either until I read on it, and that is that blew my mind. 
Is that a win or a fail as a mom? Huntress. Uh, I thought it was a pretty good win. Yeah. I mean, because Catwoman's, you know, motives are usually questionable. Yes. So we don't really know, you know, what does she, would she want to raise a hero? Would she want to raise a villain? Well, wasn't she like an anti She was like in between. She, yeah. she served her own murder, motives. And murder. Murder. <laughs> murder. 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 You're gonna keep that going while you're slipping your cup. Oh. Um. All right. Well, how about you talk about your most favorite mom? Oh man. To be honest, when you brought up Elastigirl, like, like when, like when we thought of Elastigirl, I completely forgot about her. When I think of super moms, I think of Alana from Saga. The stuff that she goes through to keep her baby alive. She okay. She falls in love with this guy from a warring like species like planet thing <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> species. A planet thing, planet. A she, planet falls, thing. She, she falls in love with someone from like like her her people are are in a war against his people sort of like a romeo and juliet type situation okay they conceive a baby with and t- the with, co- <laughs> with with tv people with tv guys or like a man with TV head. Oh, yeah, TV sex. <laughs> it's not sex on TV. It's TVs on sex. It's crazy. In it's sex. crazy. I read it, and I was like, Zach, I don't know what's going on with this TV man and TV woman having sex. But You're not supposed to. It's crazy. Yeah. Only, only in TV. Well, on, on TV. <laughs> TV. On demand. Um, they were on demand. But first of all, this saga starts out with her giving birth to the baby. Which starts in, in, in like what sets in motion a series of events where they have to keep this baby and the relationship alive during like in, in, like in a term, war in, like during a... this time of war where they're on they're on the run from these people because they're not supposed to be together. It's like a crime, so, like a sin, basically. So it's like Romeo and Juliet with a baby. With a baby, yeah. And so she fights tooth cool. and nail for this baby, um, named Hazel. Now is is it like do they have? guns or knives or swords it's like a mix of everything like like you have people that have like certain mm-hmm. abilities there's a cat that can tell when you're always lying um yeah like you'll just be like you'll be talking or whatever and the cat will just be like lie my cat does that now <laughs> <laughs> lie <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah they have they have like knives and stuff but they also have guns you can actually see it in the in the, in the oh, okay okay has, yeah, a little he has dagger like, a, like thing and then Is she's he a goat a man He's got horns, yes. He's a goat man. I don't know about a goat man, but he's got horns, he yes. He looks like a goat man to me. But she but okay. she has wings. Well, he, she's a butterfly and he's a goat man. And as you can tell, what what better what better <laughs> what better visualization What better visualization of than a, a goat man mom, and a butterfly? <laughs> a super mom in comics than on the cover of the first issue she's breastfeeding this thing. She's providing on the first issue's <laughs> cover. <laughs> Super mom. <laughs> Your oh, turn. That's a good super mom. Go ahead and follow that. She provides with milk. She pro- we don't know it's milk. <laughs> <laughs> what if it comes out of butterflies, I guess. Oh my god. Weird, rainbows, weird, rainbows. Weird boob pus. Alright, mine is from Sp- Sp- Spider-Man. All right. Aunt May. Even though that's not his real mom. Legal guardian. Legal guardian. Legal guardian. But for her to take Peter Parker as her own and raise him the way she did, mm-hmm. I think it's a pretty cool mom. That is very motherly, yeah. Um, yeah. And not only that, I think she knows that he's Spider-Man, but kind of plays that old lady like, oh, I don't know, he's not Spider-Man. Just playing senile. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Um, I didn't see your stuff in the I wash. See, <laughs> I didn't see the red and blue suit you wear. <laughs> you washing an American flag? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's true. He, he does have American flag colors, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, I mean, red, blue, and black, but the eyes are white. You can't what really... if Aunt May was actually a spy all along? Don't joke about it. They were actually going to make a movie like that. They were actually going to make a. Well, I know his mom movie. was. His parents were spies. Well, no, I mean, okay, so they were, during the Amazing Spider-Man era in, the, in, in, in Hollywood, uh, apparently Sony had plans to make a spin-off Aunt May spy movie 
<laughs> to <laughs> which when when they asked Lady... So she would have been like a Black Widow character, but like Aunt May-ish? When they asked her about it, apparently, from what I read, they asked her about it, and she said, that sounds like a terrible idea. Not even I would watch that. See? A real mom would say that. I'm just saying, Aunt May, straight I mean, up. could you admit... <sighs> straight up, Aunt May, you're straight up, Aunt May. This summer... Straight up, <laughs> Get ready for the Aunt May adventure of a lifetime. <laughs> watch as she does motherly type things from behind closed doors. I'd probably watch it I'd... on sci-fi. Or maybe Netflix, I don't know. I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even buy a comic that had that. What if she's in like a tight black suit or like the? <laughs> no. You talking about like old old woman Aunt May or like new Aunt May from Homecoming? Either. I don't know. No, neither one. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I I'm not invested no. in Aunt May like that. Maybe what if you like, are. What if like she's your the, pick? What if on the suit like it was a big M, <laughs> like an A M? The marvelous Aunt May. <laughs> 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 what if she's totally badass we don't know like she made her suit out of uncle ben's old flannels yeah what if she's spider-man spider-may well no she's spider-man spider-man and peter parker's actually aunt may wow eventually she'll get her mask ripped off and it'll be like she's just a woman <laughs> she's just an old bag <laughs> he's just a woman she's an old bag of a woman he's just a bag of boobs <laughs> but, but yeah. no i think Aunt may that to me, as a kid watching the 90s cartoons, mm -hmm. if I had to, like, you know, they didn't really show any other super moms, necessarily. Um, so, like, that, her mom betrayal for, or not betrayal, but portrayal. Betrayal. Like, or her, yes. Her, her, her taking motherly that, role. Taking that role to, to raise him as a kid to now, you know, as a man. Yeah. And for him to accept that, you know, I thought that was cool. That's true, yeah. I guess in, in a time where comics weren't so prevalent, that'd probably be like the that would be the super like superhero mom. Yeah, because you never saw any other super, you know, unless you knew about it from the comics, you know, like man, that's true. Yeah, you didn't really have that in X Men animated series or Batman, nothing like that. I mean, they mentioned an X Men animated series in the nineties that Mystique was the mother of. Um, uh, shoot, what's his name now? Uh, Rogue. Rogue and... What's the guy that disappears? Um, Nightcrawler? Nightcrawler, thank you. Yeah. I mean, the blue skin. The blue skin demon. <laughs> Mom? Mom, uh, why is my tail uh, mm. pointy? That's true, yeah. I didn't really... She didn't really come to mind when I thought of comic book moms, nah, though. She's just kind of, like, related, but not really a mother... Mother Lee. She was. Kind of, I thought she was kind of slutty back in the day. She, yeah, she still is. Yeah, it's all right sometimes, I guess. Yeah, you can get into anybody's skin. Yes. That'd be fun. Uh, any other moms you could think of? My own, in real life. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, mom? Happy Mother's Day, from from us to you. Make sure. Don't just appreciate the ones in the comics, but actually appreciate <laughs> the ones in real life that raised you. You know, we're just we're just providing a list. Yes. Uh, maybe you weren't aware of all the moms that are doing their stuff in the comics. Some of them are really cool, man. I I wouldn't be the person I am now without my mom. So, uh, I man. we probably wouldn't have got this podcast started if it wasn't for her, the way she, you know, taught me when I was a kid to go for things you want and just supported you and everything. Yeah. You did. Oh yeah, definitely. So. My mom actually bought me. When I was young, when I was younger, uh, Islands of Adventure had just opened, or it was about to open, and my parents got these passes to go in early before, uh, before the park actually officially opened, because my dad helped build it or something like that. Okay, he did. He had some part of it, but they they had passes to go with some friends, and when they got back, they were like, "Zach, you're gonna love this place. They have all this cool stuff." And she brought me back. A flashlight, a Spider-Man flashlight that actually looked a lot like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you turn it on, and it would shine the Spider-Man light on the wall. Okay. And it and it just like fueled my my passion um, for my them. my yeah like my fanboyism for Spider-Man because I already awesome. I already loved the Spider-Man animated series. I had yeah, the little yeah, like yeah. viewfinder where yeah. it had like little scenes from the from the cartoon. Um, and then eventually, like just like she told me about the ride, the Spider-Man ride, 
and I would just sit there and like shine the flashlight around the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, put the spider signal around the house and everything, and it was it was getting me hyped to actually ride the ride, ride yeah. and um, it was that one little push toward Spider Man that really kept me like I was just obsessed, and then I rode the ride, uh, saw, watched the movies when they came out, like it was, it's. One of those little things where she kind of pushed me to be into this kind of stuff, and oh, so that's awesome. Yeah, right so yeah. you know, it's one of those Thank little you, uh, Zach's mom. Yeah, right. So, um, but anyway, that's our show for today. I yeah. uh, just want to do a little special Mother's Day thing. I you love guys. you, mom. Uh, you are awesome all the time. So I wouldn't be here without you. Um, I I don't even know how to explain how much I love you and. Uh, you supporting me in whatever I do, even though you think my comic stuff is kid like, but that's okay. So I love you no matter what, and I know you love me, and I uh, want to say Happy Mother's Day and talk to you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then uh, for my mom, who uh, doesn't live anywhere near me at the moment, I just want to say I miss you and. I hope you have a fantastic Mother's Day. I'm sure I'll call you, though, uh, sometime today. And then you can see this on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. Your son's made it. Your son's made it's it. Right. <laughs> um, but, yes, yeah, so thank, thank you for pushing me to be the person I am today and for letting me love the things I love and get me started in comics and, and video games. And uh, so, yeah, I think that'll do it for today. Happy Mother's Day to Happy all Mother's Day. Happy Mother's... M- Mugger's Day? <laughs> happy, happy Mugger's Day. Go out there and get mugged. Don't worry. Sp- <laughs> Spider- Sp- Spider-Man Sp- will be there. And- Support your muggers today. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I like that. Happy Mugger's Day. <laughs> Gotta get back to the community. All right. Know? So, to another fresh cup. Of comics. Of comics.